What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Soman and today's analysis video is going to be about the Chelsea goalkeeper Edouard Mendy and we are going to see his strengths and weaknesses in detail. So before we start the analysis, first I would like to request you all to please pray for my dad who passed away last week. He had tested positive for COVID-19 and he was in the ICU for 6 days but sadly he passed away last Saturday. So I request you all to please take a minute and pray for the departed soul. May his soul rest in peace. So Chelsea completed the signing of Edward Mendy in the summer of 2020 for a reported fee of £22 million. Edward Mendy has managed to keep 7 clean sheets in the Champions League this season, which ranks him at number 1. And he also has the best save percentage in the Champions League this season, 95.8%. In today's video, we are going to analyze the gameplay of Edward Mendy and I will try to highlight some of his strengths and weaknesses in detail. Edward Mendy on average stops 10.4% of the total crosses that are played into the box, which ranks him amongst one of the very best in the world. Just to get an idea of how good Edward Mendy is when it comes to stopping the crosses, here are the numbers of some of the other top goalkeepers. Allison 8.4%, Ederson 6.5%, Ter Stegen 6.2% and John Ablock 5.4%. So Mendy with a stroke percentage of 10.4% is a clear winner. Edward Mendy has very good reflexes and he is able to adjust his position very quickly to deny the opponents any goal scoring opportunities. Mendy has the best save percentage in the Champions League this season, 95.8%. Mendy's overall save percentage this season has been 82.5% in all competitions.
Andrew Mendy is not the best with the ball, as he often ends up making silly mistakes with the ball at his feet. But Mendy still does the job. Very poor first touch from Mendy, inviting pressure and putting his team in a very dangerous situation, but Chelsea were lucky to get away with the mistake. Again, giving away the ball in a very dangerous area, but luckily for Chelsea, Mendy was able to deny Lacazette. I made a video on Edward Mendy last summer when he joined Chelsea. And in that video, I highlighted Mendy's inability to effectively sweep the ball. Mendy made some similar mistakes for Chelsea as well at the start of the season. He is often indecisive when it comes to sweeping the ball and thus he often ends up in no man's land. But the good thing is that Mendy has definitely worked on his weakness as the season has progressed. And he now looks a lot more comfortable when it comes to sweeping the ball. Overall, Mendy has been a superb signing for Chelsea. He has so far managed to keep 21 clean sheets in all competitions, which clearly shows how big of an impact he has made at Chelsea. While Kepa on the other hand only managed to keep 12 clean sheets in all competitions last season. And Mendy is already at 21 with lots of games still in hand. Do you think Chelsea should go for Donnarumma or should they stick with Mendy? Comment below and let me know. Thank you so much guys for watching the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe.